I felt with both those showreels, actually, the sort of history and geography are kind of colliding, which is interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, there's lots of history, geography, and I guess anthropology as well in all its forms. I mean, I think for us, really, the big difference um, has been since 2012 that Nat Geo has centralized its international commissioning here in London. Um, and you know, you were sort of taking the mickey out of me earlier on about all the global and international stuff all in my very title. very good-naturedly. In good-naturedly, absolutely. Um, but in a way, I mean, initially, uh, uh, it, it took me a while to figure out what that really meant. And you know, you, you, when you actually look at the audience for these programs that we're commissioning here in um, 440 million homes and 171 countries, 48 languages, it sort of starts to sink in that you really are, you know, you're reaching uh, estimates of a billion people with some of these programs. And um, you're also trying, in a way, from my point of view, to commission programs that are going to be uh, as successful in London as they will be in Buenos Aires, as they will be in Manila, as they will be in sometimes in the USA as well. So you really are trying to, to formulate shows that can be genuine worldwide hits. Um, and and it's, a, it's a great challenge. I think it's important as a channel that now and again we do something that really is... Um, event driven that it's, it stands out there and it grabs attention we do have to you know we do have to make some noise in this busy world and i think now and again the a couple of one we're literally talking a couple of one-offs a year um, will really drive attention to the channel remind people that we exist and it's not just about um these these fun buzzy buzzy characters it's also about doing something that's that's really uh, amazing and re really brilliant stories